never conform. There is nothing that this word can offer you that will help you for eternity, okay? That's point number one. Point number two is to transform. How do you transform? By the word of God. Your mind responds to the word of God. Nobody assesses the dimensions of his will without elevating into dimensions of transformation. It's in that transformed state that you can behold the dimensions of his will. Perfect day, saints. My name is Hope Gomeja and welcome to Verse of the Day. We are looking at Romans chapter 12, verse 2, which says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Paul then tells us what the results of not conforming, but rather transforming are. He says, you will finally be able to discern the will of God. And in his words, it says, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The word prove shows us that there are three categories in the dimensions of the will of God. So why does he say that ye may prove the will of God? Now here there's two different ways that I would put this. The first is that they are counterfeits to the will of God. You might think that you are walking in the will of God when in actuality you are not. But then the other um, side of this is that there are three different levels to the will of God. And he goes on to say that there is the good will of God, there's the acceptable will of God, and there's the perfect will of God. So it's either you are working in the counterfeit, which is the devil's will, and that is why it is so important to ensure that the transformation process has taken place unto completion. The transformation process has to be complete. You cannot half half the transformation uh, process because that is what determines which will you're going to walk in. So you either walk in the counterfeit, which is the devil's will, and the devil does have a will for your life. And you could be a believer and still be walking in the devil's will because you refuse to go through the transformation pr process. Or you could be walking in the good will of God, you could be walking in the acceptable will of God, or you could be walking in the perfect will of God. This all depends on your level of transformation. How much transformation have you gone through? Which dimension are you accessing? And I believe that as you continue to transform, you continue to access higher levels of the dimensions of God's will, right? So if I were to summarize what we've spoken about today, the first is never conform. There is nothing that this word can offer you that will help you for eternity, okay? That's point number one. Point number two is to transform. How do you transform? By the word of God. Your mind responds to the word of God. The mind does not respond to the blood of Jesus. You cannot cast out um, imaginations. The word says that you cast down. How do you cast down? By raising up something else, right? The other thing will go down as you raise the other thing up. What is that other thing that you're supposed to be raising up? The word of God. As, as James told us, the soul responds to the engrafted word of God. Then that engrafted word of God is supposed to be nurtured and built to a point where it becomes a sword, a sword that you can use for offense against um, the powers that are working in the realm of the soul and in the realm of the mind. After you have managed to not conform and you have managed to transform, you then enter into a place that is called the dimensions of God's will. Now, this place either has the good the good will of God, it has the acceptable will of God, or it has the perfect will of God. You, depending on how much you've transformed, you will be able to access either, either one of these three. Or if you have not even transformed it at all, you may be believing in God, but you've decided that you're not going to take on the transformation process. You could be walking in the counterfeit will, will, which is the devil's will. So that is the verse for today. I hope you've got something from it. And I will see you in day six. Hi guys, just a quick little announcement. I wanted to let you guys know that verse of the day will be a first week of the month thing that I'll be doing. So instead of every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year, um, I'm going to narrow it down to the first week of every single month. So you can expect these um, again on the first week of February. And then, yeah, so I just wanted to let you know um, the last 
one for January will be on Sunday. So today is when I'm posting this, it's going to be Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I will see you guys first of the day in February again. But that doesn't mean that I'm going anyway. I still will be posting vlogs and story times and um, sit downs and maybe I'll do Bible studies and all of that. So still getting content, just not every single day. Um, I think I'll go i'll start posting twice a week um so yeah just wanted to let you know and i will see you in day six